guys, I'm out here in my wood pile that I store all my wood inside my carport. And this carport is just in a dark spot. So what I did is I put myself in a battery. Now this is that battery I restored. And it's a 2001 battery. I don't know if you can read that. It's very faint. But it's a 2001 battery, which makes it 15 years old. It was very dead. Um, had a lot of buildup inside, but it wasn't shorted out. So I used the Epsom salt trick and uh, cycle charging and using the little... Uh, um, little spark machine on it and it brought the battery back. Now I took that battery and I fired that big F-250 up five times, five times without giving it a chance to charge. Just start, let it go, start, let it go and the battery held. So it means it's good. Now this is a dual purpose battery. So you know, quasi marine, you know, a little better, little better plates. Now what I've done here is you might notice this is, this is a toolbox. Okay, it's mounted on this frame. There's the latch. There you can see it's toolbox, and inside the toolbox is a controller. Now I've got three grommets put in. One of them's going to go for this to another light on the other side of the uh, carport, and this is for the solar panels coming in, for that. All right. So now. What I've done is I have ran wires. These are 10 gauge wires, so they're pretty stout. And, and these are 10 gauge oxygen free copper, it's real copper, going all the way up to one of these little controller units. Now this is a day, a dawn to dusk controller for 12 volt. You get them for about seven or eight bucks. I've had these sit and run for uh, two, three years, never failing. And so far so good. Now, um, the wires are kind of small, so I put some little shards of wire inside there to, so I could tighten down on this little uh, terminal set right here. And the wires run all the way across, and they run up this little brace, then they go to this big strip. Now, these lights that come with these, these five meter lights, they're roughly about 16 feet long. So, I had to take this hat metal. Now, there's the definition of hat metal. Anybody who hasn't understood when I talk about what hat metal is, that's pretty stout stuff. It is, six, it is a 20 gauge, real stiff, hard, real hard to cut, and you can use that for installing your solar panels on your roof. So, you know, get a better view of that. Okay. And hopefully that helps you guys out understanding what hat metal. Hat metal is very, very good for putting on your roof and using for your solar panels. It's very cheap too. You get a 12 foot piece of this. Um, I believe for about three dollars and sixty cents and it'll last 25 years outdoors So that metal goes all the way down to the very end down there now what I want to do here is uh, Emma good girl <laughs> What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cover this little switch up right here With a towel because it's daytime and I'm gonna put it over the top of it and then you'll be able to see what happens here Boom now that right there only pulls about an amp and a half at the most, okay? So it's roughly, I think it's 16 and a half, 17 watts. So it's about an amp and a half, which means it'll run all night long. I just took my towel off of that and you'll see it turns itself off. Now those are very handy. And with using that battery, it'll run them all night long, no question. It'll light this carport up so I can come in here from my firewood. And uh, you can see I had a, burned a lot of it this winter. And that is the deal there. Now, what I've got going on the roof of this is an 85-watt panel. This is one of those UL Solar 85-watt panels that's going on the roof of the carport because I'm way too far away from wires to run something over to it. And this is the cheaper way of doing it. And plus, the battery was free. So, um, I had a few of you guys that I, my friends that I talked to, I bought this truck for $4,000. Now, this is a nice truck. It's got hellaciously good tires on it. And... This is a nice truck. The old man that had it, 85 years old, he put brand new tires on it. It cost about $700 to have all these tires put on there. Went home, gave his wife the bill for it on the credit card. She snapped completely out, called me up and asked me, if you want that truck, come get it, which of course it did. So I went and bought it, paid four grand for it. The truck is like brand new. I even put seat covers on it because the seats are just like brand new. This truck has 62,000 miles on it. Let me turn it on here. 62,000 miles. That's it. And as other than some of my junk I've been throwing in it, 
it, it is, it's like a brand new truck. So, I mean, just, just beautiful, perfect condition. Hope that don't come out too bad. But uh, it's a full XLT Lariat model. And, uh, I mean, this just goes to show. Guy that had the truck, rarely. I mean, this thing is just spotless. It's just spotless truck. I mean, there's no oil. There's no nothing. <laughs> it's just amazing what condition this thing is. All the stickers are still on it. I mean, it's just it's just freaking perfect. The radiator is just perfectly clean, and it's big 460. It's about 12 miles a gallon on the highway. But I've got a muffler kit that I'm going to put on with it all to get it up to 13 and a half um, with a little massaging the uh, computer in it. We're going to do a little work on that too. And this is uh, what you get for grand mile where I live at. I mean, it's really impressive. Very clean, very beautiful truck, perfect paint job, a few scratches, but pretty much. And, uh, it is, uh, let's see here, it's got the full light kit on it. It's, you know, got the all-powered mirrors extended for towing, and um, and this truck right here has never had nothing in it other than a little old fifth wheel, and this, this cover's in it right now, but it had a four-bolt pattern for a fifth wheel, and he talked about his big trailer. His big trailer was a 19-foot double-axle fifth wheel, didn't even have the tall front end on it, and I think it probably weighed about 3,000 pounds, which to this truck is absolutely pointless. It don't even acknowledge it being back there. But totally pretty for what it's worth. And, uh, I mean, you can get a lot for four grand, but this is kind of taking the cake because it comes in at about $7,000 for this truck in value. What do you do with it? You put it out here in this kind of a carport. You keep it protected. You put you some lights in. You let the sun do the work for you. Controller, battery, be a solar panel up top in the morning, and you've seen it at night. These little lights will light this whole thing up in here real nice. So, all right, guys, giving you a little simple lesson on it. It's not expensive to do this. Probably cost me a grand total of a dollar to fix that battery. There's, uh, uh, was that, $10 for the little box, $10 for the little controller, probably $5 worth of wire. That strip of those, uh, that strip was six ninety five at, at Amazon, and that panel was uh, sixty five dollars on the bid, and that put my carport with full lighting, lots of light. That's going to be actually very bright at night, and it did it for nothing really. I mean, just dirt cheap. All right, man. If y'all have any questions, ask. I'll give you a diagram if you need one. These do have the little diagram on the top. Let me see if I can show you. You can see the top of that, hopefully that helps. And it's pretty simple, nothing complicated here, man. It's pretty cool, Home Depot, 10 bucks. All right, guys, y'all be good. Yeah, you're on camera at this place. Um, yes, it does. My little carport, or my little, little porch cover from my shop, and the way I rigged it up is it's just a piece of, you know, flashing with that glued on it and just like that other one in the carport it's got the plastic coating on it for weather you can see where i had the weld glue i use weld glue about every four inches just a dot to make sure that adhesive stays and this one here works just as good as that other one but here watch this I'm gonna cover this up with my cap and watch that thing come on That lights this whole thing up out here. I mean, it goes 10 feet in every direction, real bright. Also, has a wire going back in, and it turns that light on. So see, I'll put my cap back over because it turned it off when I took my cap off. There you go. So this is my uh, vestibule for my shop. Yeah, there it goes. That's the big steel door there. Keep the idiots out. So. All right, y'all see that? It's pretty simple, cost-effective way to light your stuff, and it runs off my 12-volt system in my shop. All right.